why, again, we globalize food production in the first place is that some regions are just better than others at growing grain or grazing livestock or things like that. So basically what you do when you promote local food against what would spontaneously be a more globalized system is that you promote inefficiency. And by promoting inefficiency, you need uh, more resources. And by definition, you will produce less food. So the world would actually be much better off if, let's say, 1% of the world population, let's say, I'll just make a number, let's say 100 million people were farmers, but in the best locations worldwide, rather than reverting to a more inefficient system where you would need a lot more people to be farmers because you would need to struggle uh, with bad uh, local growing conditions and you would need more fossil fuel or more natural gas or what have you. So the idea that by reverting back to the way things were, we will somehow be able to produce more food. Conveniently forgets that things evolved the way they did because our system is more efficient. And by being more efficient, our system produces a lot more food using a lot less resources.